Hello Forex fans, it's Rob here from Explominate, and I'm here again with the Victor Open Death Scenario for Humankind. And I have decided to reboot this series because unfortunately it was brought to my attention that the videos that I had put out before were lagging and I was like, what? And unfortunately I went back and I actually was able to see that they really were. And I went back to my recording software and saw that there was some settings that had been somehow screwed up because that's how it works. And my frames per second for the output on that was significantly lower than what I wanted. And there was some weird lagginess and some weird frame dropping. And I, I'm really sorry about that. So what I want to do this time around is kind of play the same thing. Of course, I have to. But I want to change some of the decisions I make and make it a little bit more interesting for those of you who did watch it. And for those of you that are new to the series, welcome. This is the Victor Open Dev Scenario for Humankind, and I am an Amplitude VIP, so I've actually had a lot of time with Humankind, and I've watched it kind of go, go from like a, a pretty rough project to what it's really becoming a, a quite a gem. And the idea with Victor Open Dev is to show what Amplitude Studios has done with the feedback they received from Lucy, which was the Open Dev Scenario back in December of last year. And with that, they received a lot of feedback and they wanted to show, you know, basically that they're listening and that, you know, that there was a lot of things that could be tweaked to make this game feel even better. And I still think there's some work to be done, but they've got four months to do it because now their release date's in August 17th. So with that, let's go ahead and play it. And, and as I play it, I'm going to, you know, provide some insight into the strategies that I take on, but also... You know, I plan to kind of learn myself in a way because the thing is that this game has been changing and, you know, maybe not significantly, but it's been changing to adjust for balance issues and for meta issues to make the game just a better game in general. So, you know, I'm, I'm with this build, it's brand new to me too. So I did play for a few episodes before. And I was met with a very poor quality video output. So <laughs> there is a little bit that I know about this scenario already. But with that, I'm going to try to change things this time around. I'm going to try to make some new decisions, different decisions, and see how they work for me. So let's, uh, let's see where we can go with this one now. So what we did is I took that one particular curiosity and it gave me influence so for the first territory that you take you only need five influence and i have five influence now so with this i'm going to go ahead and claim this territory because i want the the copper and there's also another luxury resource here and it looks like ooh, there's a great place right here so very good 12 food 15 industry a very nice spot to start my first territory All right, and now with that, I'm going to go ahead and start moving. Let's move to the west here. Let's not mess with these giant woolly mammoths. <laughs> they don't They don't want to be messed with. Actually, they, they don't want to be messed with, and I don't want to mess with them. So it's really just a nice little mutual respect, mutual agreement here that we're just not going to mess with each other. Although there is a lot of food to be gained, I will say that. If they could move, that would be great because I need to gain. I need to take that food here with the sanctuary, so you can ransack the sanctuaries for food. And right now we're trying to gain era stars in order to evolve to the next era. And part of the Neolithic era's like goal right now is to gain five population within my empire in order to gain that star in order to move on to the ancient era. So. Here we are, we're going to go ahead and, nope, not claim, but we're going to ransack for 20 food. Alright, very good. So, let's go grab this food up here now. Oh, you know what, there's food right there, let's take it, take it, take it. Ooh, did somebody actually move in? Oh, I was about to say, somebody actually, I thought somebody moved into the next air already and I was just about to to crap myself <laughs> I, was, I was gonna cry a lot we move. let's see if there's something over here we'll move away from all these huge woolly mammoths 
and find something. All right, so in the distance, a thin cord of smoke cuts up into the clear blue skies. Fire! Calling a few tribesmen, you run closer. The smell of cindered bark and burning pine growing stronger with each footfall. You spy dancing flames and suddenly find yourselves on the edge of a settlement on fire. Many of the structures are ablaze, but even with the smoke and flames, you can see these abodes are marvels of craftsmanship. You are about to direct your men to put out the fires with loose soil when you see short, shadowed figures running away. Youths. They could become part of your tribe if you give chase now, but that would mean you'd lose their secrets of construction. What is your choice? I don't really see the choice really if you're in this particular scenario. This giving chase is the best way to do it because you gain the population, which will put you in the next era. So I you know, I, right right now I need five more food to get to the next era. I just I don't see another way. And you know what we'll come over here probably actually grab that food right there. See if there's anything over here. No, there's no food that's obvious, so we'll, we'll come over here. And then once we gain the five food and finish our next tribesman, we'll gain the air star that we need. Meanwhile, though, we're going to move you, have you do some stuff over here, and make it so that we can... Continue to accumulate stuff with our curiosity expeditions. All right, there we go. So we're going to take this and we're going to move into the next era. All right, great. So like I said, the growth star has been earned, which is our one and only star we need for the era. And now we can move into something else. So what haven't I done before? Well, last time I chose the Nubians, we could go Olmex for their... Influence on territory. They also gain food with the Olmec head. That's pretty cool. So we also gain influence per adjacent farmer's quarter and one farmer slot on city per outpost. They take javelin throwers. That's pretty good. That's That might be one. I just took the Zhao on my Twitch playthrough. I'm not going to do that one. If you want to see Zhao, you can go to that. And I'm going to continue that as well too. So we have the Assyrians with land movement speed. And that's not really my thing. I, I did the Egyptians before, although I'm really kind of maybe considering them again. So you gain influence and industry. That's kind of my thing, you know? So maybe this time around we're going to go ahead and take the Egyptians. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and spread these guys out. We'll take these and we'll let them all do auto explore. And this one is going to look for my next territory. It's going to require 20, so we'll need the city to become a city. And you know what we'll do? We'll take this and ransack this while we're waiting. Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. All right, so now we're going from the nomadic tribe to the ancient era as the Egyptians this time around. And our ransack was successful. We've taken some more food, which is good. And we'll come out. Ooh, there's another sanctuary we can go ahead and take out. So we'll move over there. And what I might do is now look. Well, first we have to go ahead and build the city out. And with that, we can look at the Egyptian pyramid, which is going to gain influence and industry. We can only do one of them now. That's a change. That's a balance change. So now you can only do one emblematic quarter per territory. This is a huge boost to our industry. I think that's a great thing to start with. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then once we get some more, and we'll also get some more influence, which is great because we need more influence to start taking new territories. So I'm going to hang out around this area because I'm pretty sure there's a decent spot like in this area from what I remember my last playthrough. So we're going to stick around and make sure that that gets done. So here's something we I usually take this artisan's quarter and the granary because of course food 
equals population and population is big and having artisan quarters is also a good thing because you can take these luxury resources and sell them to your neighbors and that's important. So we'll start with calendar and move on. All right, so it looks like, oh, I've, I've also enabled Marbazir. I believe he's the the brown civilization. So he might've been the one that just took that. I believe it was, what did they do? They took the Nubians. And that's actually who I took last time, which is kind of funny. All right. I believe we're almost, it's, it's gonna be 10. All right, we just need one more turn. That's good. All right, you, yep. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna take this, ransack it for 10 gold, 10 money. Ransack was successful. Of course it was. There was nothing to stop me. And you know what I'll do? I'll try to keep this area too. I think I'm going to try to keep this territory. It'd be a good one to keep. And then I might get aggressive and try to go up here. You know, we will. We're going to come up here and try to take this territory as well. So just kind of push on the brown civilization just a little bit. Create tension there. Because tension's fun. All right, so let's see. We've got 14 and 9, which is great. T 2 and 18. 8 and 17. That's a great spot. And the funny thing is, is that these are meant to show you the best place for a particular city. But this, in this case, it's wrong. So this actually has better food and better industry output. Right. So we're going to take that spot instead. So, of course, that needs to be fixed a little bit, right? So... The little tool tip or like the little handy guide I should say of you know this is the best place to build little icon is not always correct all right let's move you this way and then yeah we're gonna bring these guys up this way and that also means that I kind of want to stick around maybe think about what what's it gonna take next time I only need 20 influence again. All right, so I might do that one more time. Yeah, especially since they're in this area, I want to I want to get there before they do. So, I'll skip your turn. A matter of diplomacy. So it looks like the Harapins have acknowledged me. They acknowledge me senpai. All right, so Greetings. I'm a good neighbor and a loyal friend. As long as you don't cross me. So as I said in the last time, this she's saying she's a good friend, but she's also traitorous, so she won't hesitate to break treaties. I think it's funny that she thinks she's a good friend. That's something that could be changed too, right? Like so with the voiceover work, I think it should reflect the personality type of these people, right? Like in this case, she's definitely not a good friend. So it shouldn't say that she shouldn't say she's a good friend. She's traitorous. She'd break break a treaty. You know, if it, if it worked for her. So I feel like that voice of her work should say that, should reflect. All right, skip one more time, and then we're going to take this territory. And then you, once you have, are you able to attach it yet? Not yet, so that's fine. I want to take this territory before I attach that. So great. Now our industry is really high. 41 is super high. We can do eight here, which I believe is going to be the best one. So we can look here. Usually with the the non-emblematic quarters, man, I can't see underneath that. But it's it's six, okay. Usually with the non-emblematic quarters, they're right about where the best place is. And in this case, it is the best place. But yeah, it's it's usually the emblematic quarters that they... Or even just starting a new city or outpost that they have for some reason that that tool thing doesn't seem to work too well all right so lake baikal has been we knew it was up there i'm cheating a little bit having played this a little bit <laughs> so domestication do we have horses in our area we do so let's go ahead and take domestication that's gonna be a good one for us it's gonna allow more food per horse and it's also going to allow us to build some horses we can build a horse and build a horse scout and scout out stuff a little bit faster. And you are trying to take this spot. I knew you would. I knew you would. I knew you were like that. And there we go. So the Egyptians have it now. What do you say about that? And 
And what does it cost to take something up this way? 30 influence. So maybe we will take this one as well. And that'll be slightly different. That's going to create some some conflicts for sure. So actually, you know, come back up here. Let's go meet Marbozier. All right, the Nubians have met us. Very good. So here's Marbozier. From my people and from myself, heartfelt greetings. Let us see if we can build a better world. It would be awesome if Marbazir actually could voice his, his avatar. <laughs> I think that would be fantastic. But that is Marbazir. All right. Let's move you to an auto explorer. And let's take the granary so that we can continue to add more food. And then we might use this as like this adjacency bonus here. So you gain some synergies from adjacent districts and I think that'll be good for us then we'll take this over here I think it's salt right yep salt so that'd be great and it looks like there's a question some sort of decision is expected from me we would all benefit from growing closer don't you think glorious glorious let it be so all right cool all right we'll do that We'll do what you say for now. And let's jump and grab that real quick. Should be able to attach, right? Oh, we're, yeah, for some reason I thought it was supposed to be a 20, but it's 30, which makes sense because that's what it was before. I just forgot. All right, so we'll attach this. Very good. And that'll be a good spot. And then these two are going to be one city as well. Although, what is it going to cost? Yeah, 160 influence, Lord. So bring one of these down here. And then here, let's go ahead and take the Artisan's Quarter for... What does Ebony do? It's stability, okay. And then we'll also do one for the Sage. It's also more stability. And then you can come up here. Let's come up here. Let's see what they've got. Looks like they've acquired this territory, like they did in my last game. All right, Memphis has gained a population, which is great because I thought our food was a little low. Yeah, it's a bit low for where we are right now, and I'd, I'd like to fix that. So the granary is going to fix it next turn. A little bit. It's going to at least make it better. And you, you know what, just go ahead and auto-explore. Do your thing. Marbles here, you're going down, man. Animal magic. As the harvest season draws close, 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 yeah. The common folks are worried. With many farms scattered across the empire, last year an infestation of rodents, largely rats and mice, plundered granaries. However, rumors have it that one enterprising village miti mitigated the problem by using cats, but you also know the sailors use a kind of predator named a ferret. Which of them will you employ? Last time I said ferrets, we're going to do cats this time. Cats are good Mausers. All right, you. Let's take a look and see. This is going to be 30. It is. So we'll wait one more turn. And then we'll take that particular spot. You can go to Auto Explorer. And where are we at with food now? So food's a little bit better. We're going to gain another person in three turns, which is decent enough, I should say. And you, you know, we're going to go ahead and station you until we get to the point where we can... Oh, yeah, we're just going to do one more turn. And now that that turns up, we'll see where we can go here. So 13 and 10. I'm a... Wow, 7 and 19. That is worth the, the loss in food. We can make up for the loss in food. Great, domestication researched, and then we have, by what right do we rule? So we have a new civic to consider. We can gain influence on main plaza or, or faith on holy site. I'm going to do faith. I'm, I'm going to go for more of like a religious run this time. It worked out for me last time, so I'm going to try it. 
It was a late decision I made, and I'd rather just start with that decision this time. So there we go. Carpentry. Let's look at the technology tree this time. Masonry with its pottery workshop is a good one as it gives, gives me influence. And influence is really important. And it'll also take me through carpentry, which I want to do anyways. So let's do that. Very good. So now we've got this place and this place. And this is going to have a bit more food. So I think this will be the city center. And then we'll have this attach. And yeah, let's come over here and have you set up with that too. We'll build that out. Or sorry, buy that out. And then we'll take this over here. And we'll end turn. Looks like the Nubians are already buying my ebony, which is cool. That'll be more coin for my coffers. And you, since we have what I need now, at least for the be for the beginning, right? I don't want to move too much further into territory claiming, just because it it starts to slow down my ability to, to build what I've got, right? So I don't want to do that too much. I've got what I want. I've got the I've got the territories I need, and I've got a good foundation, so I'm gonna stick with that. All right, now we can look to build another Egyptian pyramid here now. Nine. Let's look, zoom in since it won't let me. Eight and one, nine and one. So yep, gonna be our best place. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then animal barns for the food per horse, but we don't have a horse yet, so we need to grab that horse ranch. So we'll swap these, because we'll need the horse ranch first. And that's going to put us in a pretty good spot when it comes to industry. So. Resource sold. How are we doing with regards to our... So we have one more population for that star. We'll need about another 140 influence for that. Two more technologies for that. Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. How are we doing... Fame wise, we're doing really well. Fame wise, great. So it looks like these guys haven't even started their own. Wow, in the last game, they were quite the force to be reckoned with, and in this one, they're going to be a bit behind. So it, I don't know what exactly determines that. All right, so we've gained carpentry, which is now going to give us the lumber yard, which I like a lot, especially with what our focus is right now. Terror of the Bovines, the empire is mired in tradition and beholden to the past, but no city is more unenlightened than the metropolis of Memphis. In the superstitious place where hearsay and myths run wild, farmyard animals are now being put on trial for crimes. After a herd of cattle was sentenced to be burnt on a pyre for conspiring against the empire, one wealthy landover has had enough. Now he petitions you to intervene. What is your stance on the judgment? So we can go fanatical. I think I'm going to, I'm going to really lean into the religion. So we're going to take faith. We're just going to do it. You know what? That that cattle did it. The cattle did it. It conspired. I'm not okay with it. Great. So now we've already been able to create our own religion. So we're going to go with polytheism. I think that's you know more of an Egyptian thing. And we've gained an, an agrarian star. So that's good. With that, I think we can choose our first tenant. So let's go to the tenant screen. We can't. No, we need 16 people. That's right. So, Egyptians' polytheism is already spreading. It is already spreading, my friends. We are already making our presence known. Our religious presence known. So, our building star is taken. Alright, so now we have four technologies to go for the next star, and we have three. So, we won't be far from that either. A proposal for your consideration. Yeah, sure. Glorious. Buy my stuff. Oh, okay, cool. And you guys want to fight. So that's not cool. I'm going to... Oh, I, there's nowhere good to stay. I'm going to end deployment there. And it looks like they're probably going to come over here and use the high ground, which is the smart thing to do. And we're going to move back one. Oh, but they're going to take my flag, and that's going to be it. So... Yeah, that wasn't cool of you, guys. Really. But now I have reason to attack. Now I'll have 
a grievance that I can use later. And trust me, friends, I will. I will use that grievance. Alright, great. So, where are we with regards to... we? I think we need 160, right? Yeah, that's right. So, we're, we're still quite a bit off from that. Now, though, our industry is really high. So, we're going to be able to build this really quickly, which is great. And we'll do it somewhere over here, just to make it look nice. But we're going to do the animal barns first, so hold tight. We might even do these first, too. So, 254 to finish two turns early. I think we're going to go do that. Just get things going. And we have a lot of money in right now, so we're, we're going to utilize that. 260, that puts us in the first, which is great. So, as long as we can stay there, and man, seriously, yellow still hasn't advanced. That's strange. Very strange. But it's just, how, it makes it very clear how different each game can be in this game. So, Denaliki Desert has been discovered. Wow. That's a pretty cool looking desert. So with that, you gain pl plus 5 influence, plus 10 stability, and plus 10 money. What does this do for us? I'm pretty sure it's the same. Yeah. So yeah, there's nothing really... It does have some industry, but... Having it in our... As you can see in the lower part of that, the natural wonder control effects, I'm controlling it because it's in my territory. It's no different than anything else. I believe they're all the same. I'd like to see that change. I'd like to see some of them have some unique qualities to them. In the teeming iconic city of Memphis, musicians are a celebrated part of the local culture with a long history and holy rites. They bring nobility to religious rituals, jollity to palace celebrations, smiles to the sick and ailing, courage to marching armies, and distraction to the gods. Alas, they are still too small in number, especially the good ones, and now word of their renown has reached across the empire. Lords, priests, commanders, among others, are grousing that their city des deserves such artists, too. How will you satisfy them? Well, we're going to pay for more. So. What does this do? Plus five money, plus two. What is this? Plus ten industry. Man, I'm already so productive, though. I feel like money in science might be the better way this time. So, muster street musicians riddle Memphis. They could e help com commerce elsewhere, even if they distract learning. Yeah, let's do that. Change, like I said, I'm going to change things up as much as I can. So we're going to take... Oh, we don't need to do that. One more turn for the lumber yard. The darkest depths. Miners and prospective miners and their kin from Memphis are afraid. Ancient traditions are strong, and many believe the mythical beasts of the old legends are very real. Now rumors are rife that it was no ordinary bear that attacked a regiment, but a monstrous creature whose den is the city's nearby... In the, in the, is the city's nearby mine. Many are likely to down tools without action. Many are likely to down tools without action? What does that even mean? How should we respond to the rumors? So we could go forced labor on Memphis for a big stability hit, but also a big industry boost. We could go with celebrating with the stability. I don't need stability right now. I'm going to do this. We're going to just take that huge... That's going to put... Oh, man, but look at our... Actually, we do kind of need stability. Well, shoot. I was wrong about that. The Nubians now feel differently about me. So we're not pleasant. Isn't that cute? All right. Scientist star has been gained. And now we're about to do the Aesthete star and the Emergent star as well. So three more turns. We'll have our Obelisk of the Gods. Let's look over here. Let's see. Let's do... I like... I like fishing. I like fishing a lot. I think we're going to need the public fountain, though, to keep our stability up. So let's do that. And you! Alright. Well, we'll just leave. Purple's doing their thing this time. Meanwhile, yellow is not doing anything. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. All 
All right, well, that kind of angers me that the purple will keep doing that. Or no, it was these guys before this that were doing that. This proposition should be in all our best interests. All right, I'll take the non-aggression because I have a feeling that I'm going to go to war with purple this time around. All right, and let's see what's going on here. The melody for every occasion, too. Music is flourished across the empire and letter your choice to hire street musicians. Of course, the music is more chaotic than formal, but the sounds are energetic, live, and ever-evolving. New instruments emerge all the time. The exciting, turbulent musical culture is well established. Jingle jangle. All right, let's do it. Cool. All right, great. So I've gained another merchant scar. Merchant, merchant scar. Scars of the merchants. All right, so now I do have that grievance Welcome. from... Oh. Let us speak honestly with each other. Wait, hold on a second. Where is this? No, they can have that. That's fine. But you know what? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I... Maybe I try to take it. Let's see if they'll give we it to me. Meet your demands they yielded. Trust that it buys us peace. Yes, they yielded. Perfect. I commit... So now what would have been theirs is now mine. Hmm, that was dumb of them. I wouldn't have yielded, for sure. And we're just one turn away from being able to make this a city. And then what I'll do is I'll take that. And we will make the city and then we'll connect these two. But that's going to create a lot of tension with me and Marbazir over here. Which could be good viewing. So <laughs> that's what I wanted. Good viewing. So where are we with other stars? So we definitely need we need t uh, three more districts, which we can do. That's actually pretty simple. So first of all, is this considered? I don't know. We'll see. Actually, we're going to do one and then see if it's considered a district. So we're at 9 out of 12, and we're going to finish this in one turn. And then we're going to see if that's... 10 out of 12. It is. Very good. Awesome. So we could probably... We're going to be really... Okay, so we need copper. I thought I had copper. There's copper right here. Oh, I haven't... I haven't actually researched it. That's why. All right, so food 34. Industry 105. That's just absurdly good for where I am right now. We'll take the 12 food, which is very good as well. This will be a city in just a few turns, and then we'll start attaching those places there. The Empire's religion grows, and more and more followers are coming into the faith every day. Some practice their beliefs through ceremonies led by priests, while others guide their own worship. It is time to give blessing to one of these means. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to do with this. Oh, we can't do anything because we don't have civic points yet. So we'll look into that when we get there. I have a lot of money right now, so I'm going to go ahead and use it to rush stuff. And that'll put me really close to the last star I need here. And we're going to gain 15. Wow, very good. Our industry is going to be so high in Memphis. It's not even, it's not even funny. I'm going to be able to just churn things out. Just build a bunch of crap. <laughs> Which is good. It's good for us. Builder star is earned. Very good. All right, and then we have a decision. I have a proposition for you. Yeah. Okay. I think you'll like it. Sure. Glorious, glorious. Let it be so. That's fine. I mean, I guess we can be cool. If you still are cool with me, I'm cool with you. I wouldn't have been cool with me, but if you're cool with me, that's fine. Now, how is this? It's 12 industry, 7 food. Is there a better place to move? I mean, I don't... They're probably not. Plus 2... Th oh, wow, there is. There's some better places to move. Nothing crazy great, but there's definitely better places. So almost anywhere would have been better than where they went. So what I'll do is I'll move it over here instead while I'm waiting. And I can actually speed that up. We'll buy that out. Do it. <laughs> and now it's over here instead. All right, great. And where are we going to get the last star from? So we have this now. 
we can we could probably get it from money or population but i think money is probably going to come faster let's go ahead and build the pottery workshop for the influence although now i just i say that and we've gained another population so we only need three more that's great so what we could do is actually probably do flood irrigation here for more food we're going to gain another person in three turns and we need what three more but it's going to be a race actually to figure out if it's going to be money or population that puts us over so that's great good spot to be in so let's take fishing because i really like harbors harbors tend to have a really good setup especially it just sometimes you get like really good research bonuses out of them Sometimes you get food, sometimes you get all. <laughs> so I'll take that. All right, there we go. With the empire thriving, a new game hailing from a foreign land beguiles the population. Everywhere you go, the distinctive game board and pieces catching your eye. Insisting on a public demonstration, you play the game under instruction in your palace court, but the event has a sting in the tail. The game is reckoned to be a form of divination as well as entertainment. Gas can be heard as the game's prophecy became clear. You are fated to lose everything. What will you do? Overlook? Uh, heed or silent? Oh, I, yeah, there's no way. I'm going to go ahead and pay people off. I have the money. I'm going to do it. Great. So now we have enough followers that we can take our first tenant for the Egyptians' polytheism. So what we could do is we could make it so that we gain more science. Or we could have more stability. We could gain more influence, more food, more industry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It would be so sick to just be ridiculous with when it comes you know what i'm 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 gonna do it i'm just gonna just really lean into industry we're gonna be industrial powerhouses all right so we've enacted abstain from intoxicants in order to keep people industrious look how pretty that is that's just ridiculously i mean look at that god it's so cool all right. Very good. So now we have the city here. Very good. So we can do the Egyptian pyramids here as well. Which shouldn't take long because there's quite a bit of industry here as well. And what we want to is to attach this one first. Very good. It's funny. We actually end up taking that one. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. So, do we stick with the Egyptians, which I'm kind of leaning towards at this point? Or do we take another, maybe the Mayans this time around? Plus two industry on district producing industry. Plus three industry per number of territories. Plus two faith. Again, another really good, like, focus on industry. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go with the Mayans this time. All right, so... That's our focus. That's what my focus is going to be on this game. As urban centers grow... Both ideas and sewage are generated at a record pace. Arts and sciences flourish as military tactics and mathematical equations become as coveted as physical goods. Empires struggle to control these intangibles, however, as some might trouble their stability. All right, so now we've gone from the Egyptians to the Mayans. We've gone clear across the country, or across the world, actually. But we're still industrious people, so. As you can see, my, my buildings are now becoming more South American, so. Awesome. So, this is a good spot to end this episode, now that we are really in a great spot. I mean... It's funny to me that the Harappans, the purple now, are going to be the ones that I have to worry about. Whereas before, it was the yellow. They, you know, they had taken over so many and, and, you know, it's just a testament to how much can change in this game based on a few variables that you really don't have any control over. So, I'm curious, how much would it be to attach this? It's 180. Nowhere close to that, so. Great. Guys. I hope you're okay with the fact that I've rebooted it. I've, I've tried to play as much as I could for the first episode in order to get back to kind of where we were. And 
you know, I really think that this will be a better episode or better series as a result because I just, I could not stand how poorly the video looked in the last one. So fun how the things have changed and they've made a game kind of feel differently already. So stay tuned as we keep playing. And until next time, this is Rob from Explominates. Keep exploring. <laughs>